All right, legends, welcome back. Okay, so now that we know what jQuery is, let's go ahead and create an example. And for this jQuery example, I'm gonna use the load method. And the load method, it loads data from a server, or in this case, our, our root folder. Where's this bad boy? Our root folder right here. And it can, it's gonna return the data uh, into one of our HTML or CSS elements. So let's go ahead and play around with our jQuery. Now I'm gonna get rid of, keep the button. We'll keep the click button, or you could change it to hover. Let's get rid of that and let's go ahead and, well, let's create, let's create a div. Let's get rid of this right here. Let me get rid of this closing div too. So all the divs in our body, we just deleted. Let's go ahead and create a div and we'll call it div ID equals Ajax. And we'll have nothing in it. We'll just source whatever we want in from our external file. And let's close that out. Now let's go ahead and create um, let's just have nothing and just change this to Ajax. So it's going to source it in, but nothing's going to show up, which is what we want. So let's go ahead and go ahead and call our div now. We have it set to Ajax. Nope. Hashtag Ajax because it's ID. If you chose to do class, you'd have to do a period right there. And the method I want to use is load. Well, what do we want to load in? we need to have something that we want to load in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get a new text editor or a new document. I'll just type in, please work. Do, 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 do. And let's go ahead and save this. We'll save it as ajax.text. We'll save it to where's my, our root folder. I'll just save it to my desktop and then I'll, oh, I hate doing this. I'll just manually put it in my root folder, ajax.txt, just like that. Is that what we saved it as? Yes. Yeah, save it as, dot, as a text file. Don't save it as HTML. Don't save it as hypertext markup language. And where is my text editor. Okay, so what I want to do now is let's look at our root folder. We've got our ajax.txt in here. You know what, I'm going to create another folder. I'm just going to right click and I'll call this folder. And I'll save that. And I'm going to go ahead and drop my ajax ajax.txt file in here. So just like that, should have my ajax. There it is. Go back here to uh, the home directory. Now let's go ahead and source that in. So it would be folder forward slash, where are you? Forward slash Ajax dot T X T. So if we look at our code really quick, when we, re when we reload our page, nothing should be there. When we click release the hounds, this file should now show up. So let's go ahead and open this up in Safari or any browser of your choice. It doesn't have to be Safari. Release the hounds right there. I can see an error. There's a, a, a tag that hasn't been closed out properly. Release the hounds, see it right there. Later, buddy. Let's go ahead and reload this. So when we click release the hounds, whatever we wrote, please work, Ajax, whatever, uh, exclamation, exclamation, exclamation should show up. Boom, just like that. All right, guys, we just created Ajax. We had the content change exactly how we wanted to do without our page reloading. All right, guys, good luck with this. In the next video, we'll talk about uh, maybe pulling in like a picture or just doing some more methods that deal with Ajax. And uh, hopefully you guys get comfortable with this. Good luck with this. I'll see you guys in the next video. All right.